Alright, well, so here's uh, how far I've gotten with the with my e-bike. I just installed the motor, so I've, I've done all the mechanic mechanical stuff. So, yeah, it was kind of a pain in the ass to install. I had so many pro little problems. Like, um, I had to change the clamp, so I use use like some standard uh, U clamps. And then they were then they were too long, so I had to grind them all the way, almost all the way to the nut, because it was hitting the, um, the sprocket here. And then, uh, and I kind of bent the the bottom bracket uh, retainer thing. I, I kind of bent because I I stripped it a little bit, so it was hitting the the freewheel sprocket on this guy. So and then I had problems lining it up. And then I, I found out this wasn't tar this wasn't tightened all the way. So, uh, so I, don't know, I just tightened it by hand and then moved back to the proper place. Uh, so fortunately, the chain lines up with the electric motor. And then I had to I didn't know how to route the chain either. So I I didn't know why all of these all these bolts here were loose because you have to take it off and you have to route it. So it goes around the me the crank sprocket, and it goes around the motor, and then it goes here. I guess this adds a little tension to it so it doesn't slip. And then this has like a special way it goes on. Like one of these spacers is longer than the other. That's uh, a pain in the ass. I have to figure out everything. There's no there's no manual for it. There's a couple pictures on the internet and help a lot. But uh well I now got a seven speed bike. Because I only have seven back here and one up front, and this has a freewheel sprocket, so so when the motor is engaged, I guess uh, it doesn't move the the crank at the same time. So it's kind of a weird sensation of uh, you're pedaling and you can hear that freewheeling sound, that click 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 click, and then uh, and then you stop and the front one stops clicking and then the back one will start clicking. So it's kind of weird. But so there it is, the motor is mounted and. Uh, yeah, so so it didn't fit the the bottom uh, bottom suspension properly, so I had to bend it, and I didn't it didn't look so bent from the top, but from here it's bent a lot. I had to take out the kickstand because the kickstand will hit the motor. So now I just got a jack stand holding it up. So I got to find some other kind of kickstand. Maybe I think uh, if I get the one that mounts on the arm here, the clamps uh, that should work. I greased the crank up and I put everything back on so so basically the the spindle for the or the axle for the bottom bracket is uh it's longer so it can clear the motor because the motor sticks out a whole lot. Yep. It has to clear out all this stuff too. But uh I don't know, I'm pretty happy with it so far. And I just I just have to hook up the controller and the battery, and I have the batteries already, so things don't fall. So I still got now. I have to hook up all the electrical stuff. I have to hook up the twist throttle and uh, the controller. It's really small. Um, and then uh, and I got my LiPo char charger here, and this is the battery that I'll be using. I guess for testing purposes, I will only use one battery first. Here it is, it's the battery I'm using. It's a Turnigy 5000 milliamp 6 cell LiPo battery. And uh, yeah, it's the first time I've used, well, I have from really small LiPo batteries in my helicopter, but this is a massive one. But for how much power is in this guy, it uh, it put um, it puts out a lot of power for relatively small size. You just gotta be careful charging it. That's why you gotta put it in like in these fancy bags. So if you overcharge it, it they explode basically. <laughs> but uh, well, there it is. That's the battery I'm gonna use. So basically, I have to I have to find I have to change the connector on this guy to. One of these. Oh, should be a lot of fun.
note is uh, I have to buy one of these crank puller tools. It's made by Avenir. It's a pretty name brand bicycle part and uh, cost me like eight bucks. But it was totally worth it. I had to take the crank out, like I had to take the old cranks out and then I had to put the new ones on and then I had all that fitting stuff with the sprocket. So uh, it definitely got my eight dollars <laughs> worth out of it. And uh, another thing was um, I had a hard time uh, getting this. I, I mentioned it earlier about the bracket not uh, fitting properly. But, uh, um, was oh yeah, I had a, I had to. I was originally going to use this hole for the bracket and connect it to the frame, but the doggone uh, the little gearbox that goes on the on the motor it it didn't clear the wheel. It was hitting the wheel, so I had to reclock the. I had to reclock the um, the motor. I had to move it more forward, so the um, or counterclockwise from the right side, so it wouldn't hit the wheel anymore. It's and it's still it's pretty close. It's like quarter inch clearance right there. So yeah, but uh, it all clears. It all lines up.